Well, hello everybody, welcome back to episode 63, I believe I'm on my last play of the open beta of Gwyneth the Witcher card game. Of course, I'm doing challenges, I'm about to start the monster one, Tarrant of the Wild. Let that load up a sec. Oh, here's loaded. Oh, the spider's pretty cool there, isn't he? Look, look, is that coming? Is that over his baby eggs, I guess? Anyway, what does it say? The queens of Arachnid swarm are larger and more powerful than their drones. They dominate and command not only their weakened kin, but also other creatures living near their nest. Woo! To any who intrude on their territory. Watch out for Calvin. He can grab an extra card from his deck at any time. Any time? I'm sure it's a one-off thing. But what's the same time? It makes it sound like you could do it literally any time. The Arachnus Queen is immune to most abilities, but can still be destroyed by Scorch. Be careful not to boost her too much. Okay. I could Scorch her. Onward, sons of Nilfgaard! Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure last time it was my deck I used, where now I'm getting their deck. But I, mean, I like the monster deck, so that's good. Your humble servant. Oh, I know what Scorch is. I was thinking what was Scorch was Scorch. Scorch is the thing what kills the highest thing, isn't it? So you can't really kill that unless it's just the highest on the board. Consume three allies and boost self by their power. Sugar, three allies. But she gets the thing, so yeah, so you gotta be careful. He does Scorch her after you do that, I see. Apply a fog to a road that deals two damage to the highest unit on turn start. Why not? Unless I want to give him the first round, what's one of my tactics? So I'm going to this unit. Do you have 5 damage? Do you have 5 damage? Boost by 1 in... F if Fog is on the board. No ability. No ability. Spawn from f f Fog or Alza... F oh, it's Alza Thunder. I haven't seen that before. What's Alza Thunder? Oh, that thing! Deals 9 damage. Nice. Cost Gerald and deal 5 damage. You know what, I'm just going to give him this because it gives me one card advantage. Maybe we'll be lucky to play something else, probably won't. Yeah, I thought he would just pass. That's fine, that's fine. Now I've got to go like this round. But then they'd have to mess around dealing with that 12. And I get a couple extras, what's that? Three less extras. And it's a fiend. So... Yes. Some no copies, that's fine. I could do the same. See what my equivalent is. Voila, and I had one extra to you. It gives me an advantage. What does this do? Boost self by two for each spying. Some no copies, but I didn't have any extras. Oh, it's from this, so he actually. If he, if, so he was unlucky. If he ended up with one of these in this, he would have brought all two out and we had extra. So he was unlucky with that. I was going to say, why did that show me that? Notice. So boost self by two for each spying enemy. Boost self by two whenever a spine enemy appears. I got no spine enemy in this, so. But he did put a spine enemy on my side. So that probably would have worked before. Uh, Frost mount. Where's that other one? Spawn three lessers. Why not? Nice. Probably gonna play. F uh, I was gonna say play Flog next. Frog even. Frog. <laughs> Frog even. <laughs> Oh, he passed. I ain't gonna play it then. So we're back. Oh, I'm still one card ahead. Beautiful. But we're probably saying we got like 10, 11 cards. Uh, this could get messy. Did I overdo it with that card though? They give me. Spawn three wolves on the melee row and apply fog to the opposite row. So three f f and on the opposite. Oh, I should wait. Shouldn't I too? I know where he's pointing because if I say spawn him here, and he's putting him over here, so I should wait on that. But yeah, I want to get fog in there. So um, I can really cover him with fog then. I want to use that scorch to get rid of it. At the same time, I don't want to scorch everything exactly the same as each other. Um, no. He's high. No, he's not higher, is he? I'll save that. This is uh, higher than that, though, so if he gets scorched, that dies, this doesn't. Barbarian. 
Now, if this culture just kills his own, look at three cards from your deck, then play one. Okay. I kind of want to play Fog to knock him down, but I'm worried that the Scorching ability is going to come to play. Fog is higher. I could play Fog in this one, couldn't I? Spawn three walls in the melee row and apply Fog to the opposite row. Opposite row. So melee would be here, correct? Opposite would be that one. I don't want to melee. I don't want to think of that one because of his ability to scorch. Beautiful. So as long as he's there, he scorches himself. As long as I don't do anything higher than a twelve, and I can always knock it down if I need to. Please wait, your excellency. I'm falling behind. Okay, he's got two now. Look at two bronze units from your deck and play one. Reveal a random card in your hand. So what else has he got? Deals three damage to Emily if it's spying. Hopefully it means it's it, spying hence you his own unit because I don't have a spying unit. I don't really care if I lose two. Boost self by two for spying. Mm. Okay, what's his ability? Look at three cards in your deck then play one. Oh, is this what he can play any time? This is what he's doing. This is what he's on about. He can play at any time. Okay. Um, boosted by what? Uh, by one if Fog is on the board. That will bring me to eleven. So yeah, I'll stick with that for now. Actually, 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 no, no, no. Fog. Well, let literally play Fog on this one. And that's still at twelve. Cutting hand to armor. And that's still a 12, so it'll still get destroyed if he uses it. That's fine, it keeps him in it, but he's gonna go down. Uh, so if he goes up by 1, he's 11, so he should be safe. Still one above him. I'm worried about this one, though. Wise choice. You know, consume three hours and boost self by their power. Because I, I want to use that Scorch. I want that Scorch to be gone. Before I use it. Eleven. He killed me everyone then. He must have done. Oh, crud! Why did you go up? Boost by one fog if the board on. Turn end. Sugar. It's a shame I have no time. I thought it was... It, it, I, I, oh, okay, I messed up then. I thought the fog... He gets one boost. Not every time the turn ends, he gains one. He's gonna be oh, burnt now. Ah, fudge. That's twelve points down the drain. So take ten off. That's forty-five. He's winning because that's gonna get scorched. He's now winning. Fudge. I read that wrong. I don't want to do these until the end. I don't want to destroy all you. Not your lucky day. Right now, I, I, I kind of want to use Scorch now. So, that is what you folk like. In a way, I want to use Scorch because then I'm going to consume these and get the boost. I guess because of that, I might as well just start fogging this. Fogging this, hehe. <laughs> now, how did that so What's the difference between fogging winter? The winter's coming to frost. Apply hazard to enemy row that deals two damage to the lowest unit on the turn start. Uh, uh, apply hazard to the enemy row that deals two damage. It's exactly the same, isn't it? It's just a different effect. Eh. Uh, fog, why not? I'm going to start hurting him now because. Did he get any one per turn? No, it was just on that side. Where's his stupid scourge? He's one of these two, isn't it? I'm missing gonna lose 14 points. Uh, I will not let this become Since a that's gonna save started. these. What does she kill? Five. It'll make more sense smacking these to get them down quicker. So the fog should kill them. Come on, Scorch it already. He's probably sitting there like he was a player, obviously not AI. He's like, <laughs> I'm gonna scorch you and then I'm gonna win. <laughs> His evil like laugh. Do the most damage possible. So these get taken out by the fog. Uh, yeah. 
Not Scorch, I'm assuming. And he's gonna be burned. No! Do not assume you can order me around. No one can hide. Oh, I get another card though. Okay, he must have Scorch randomly in here. He just hasn't decided to use it. Okay. Seven, I guess. Okay, this is gonna be Scorch, correct? No! That is what you folk How are you playing this thing, can he? I'm very worried playing this now, and he's gonna put, somehow play that again and pull another card out that's gonna scorch it. Because obviously it's gonna kill anything it grabs. Or should I just end the thingy? It's allies. I think I'm high enough. I don't think he can, can he? If he kills that. If he takes it, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna pass. So you can play that infinitely, that's a bit stupid. I shall not repeat the music. Oh, Siri, dash! Oh no, but Siri. What's that? Whenever this unit enters the graveyard, return it to your deck and travel it. Yeah, we did it. Whew. I guess the idea is you got Scorch in there, and if I played that, he, he's AI to pull Scorch out and burn her. I don't even have to play it. The sad thing is, that was reason. Yes, I had such a high score, but that was a little nippy group because that thing, and that's the first challenge. So we're gonna have harder ones. Natural selection. Hmm. We've got Solitaire to do. So I got them, should I have. Oh, that's really his face, isn't it? I just be sure no motherly love for their offspring. True, they defend their young, but no other substance can be found. They will devour their own children without hesitation. In such a case, only those strong enough to flee the nest early survive. Hmm. Harold deals a lot of damage. Boost your units so they don't get destroyed. The Arc of the Queen is immune to most abilities, but can still be destroyed by Scorch. Okay, I think everyone's got Scorch in their, their deck at some point. I think. That's why it's warning me about that. To arms, all of you. Harold the Krull. Arrakis Queen. I have different set this time around, don't I? <laughs> Boost up to six random allies by two. Uh, hazard. Obviously, one that in a longer round. Consume a bronze silver unit from your graveyard and boost self by power. Whenever you consume a unit, spawn a hatchling. Da -da -da -da. Boost. By fog. Okay, and I'm going to give you this round to give me the one card advantage. I lost the round. Oh no, I lost. But I have to win this round now. I got to win this round. I get another one. I'm great. So fogs are going to help. I hopefully, I want to save that fog to the round three. He might force me, force me to, to, to play him. That's it! Good! Whenever you discard this, you play it. Because wasn't he the one I was earlier? Was it last episode of this episode? I think it was last episode, wasn't it? When basically... It's about 10 damage right now. Remember, I discarded the guy... I discarded some units and he got played by discarding that. Okay. See my bronze silver unit from your graveyard. Okay, there should be nothing in my graveyard. Zero. Spun rack and hatch and repeatly. You should assume you just spawn on that ring, okay. Give them no rest! No, no rest, no free! Consumer unit, bronze or silver unit from your graveyard. Oh, okay, from the graveyard. Oh, well, that that would have been good because that would have boosted that. Boost up to six random allies by two. Okay, so I need six units on before I use that. I don't really have that many units to do that though. Ah. Consume three allies and boost self by the power. Again, I have no allies. Fudge. Man, we're about eating myself. <laughs> I guess it's a fiend. Give them no rest. No reprieve. Oh. Spawn three walls on the melee row and apply fog to opposite row. Don't really want to use my fogs yet. Yes, trees can 
deal five. Okay, I want him to, to I really want him to pass right now. See my bronze, so we never again, that's useless for nothing in my graveyard, so he has to be used next time. I guess I could fog once and I still have the fog next time with that. This might make him pass. Hopefully. My tactics is more for the next round. You talked enough. Ah, uh, he's not passing. What the play is yet? I'll do what I can. Okay, pass. He did. I didn't really want to play trees this round, but I had to. Okay. I'm at like 16 minutes, so I should end this episode, but I think I'm, I'm going to go one more round and end this episode, okay? So you get a little longer today. Because <laughs> this is the round I need. So I want to play Fog, but I need to know what role to put it on because I've got less of it now. Spawn free less of that would be fine. Oh crud, didn't they da damage one? Oh, they damaged one if he was out there. I should have played him yet. Fudge. Should have played Gerald. Should have played Gerald. But I can consume three allies and boost self by their power. Okay, I don't want to consume freeze, do I? Um, okay. Spawn free will melee and apply Fog to the opposite role. I should have played him yet. I should have played Gerald first, so that was a mistake on my part. She's do. Uh, consume a bronze silver unit from your graveyard and boost self by its power. Boost for six. Don't have six. But what would have been, after, if you didn't kill them, that would have been a good time to do this right now. Um. These on soon, the better. Fudge. Gonna have a high unit in there now, aren't I? So. Probably should do frost on the him. Oh, him! Taking on new swabbies. What do you say? Now, how did that incantation go? Because he's higher than on him. Hopefully that's the right role he's the top one in this role now. And he is. We serve her he who is virgin mother. Truly is too, he's brought it straight back. These need to be a little longer so they can get more boosts. And they're all different numbers as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. Boost six randomly. Nothing's Okay, only have one high, really high if you scorch us currently. It's very close, I don't like how close he is. Consume something in the back, why not? 11, why not? I like that, that you can pick them now, before it was random. I like the fact you can pick it. That's good. <laughs> Damn it. Of course, he's gonna burn that one. Here's the better loot than in your hey, Karamba, stop. stop! Holy fudge, how many is he hitting? Okay, seriously, stop, boy. Split 10 damage random between them and this. I'll play this. This might have made a mistake. I bet he scorches it now. I just made a huge mistake, haven't I? Watch him scorch now. If he does, the key to this is not to play that damn, that that's card. He didn't. He didn't. Enough. Great. Yes, we did it. I was say if he scorched it, the key is not to play that card. Woohoo! A victory. With that, the victory. I will end this episode. Watch Scrabble like good stuff and tune in next week. We'll continue the master challenge. I'm in Abitopia. You've been watching, hopefully. Or as you hear me saying this, you gotta be watching, of course. And hopefully you watch next week and anything else on the channel.
like, subscribe, and good stuff, and tune in next week. So until then, bye for now, and have a great, amazing day, everyone. Bye. The Pit Trap. Bye, everybody. <laughs>